We're ready, especially because we have a guest. We're recording? Who's one of my nearest and dearest. Hi, guys. Um, hey. You guys have, this PJ Pants crew has gotten the honor to spend a couple of Sundays now with Becca mm -hmm. um, at my house. But Becca is one of my closest friends in the world. She's an incredible actress, podcaster, talent, human. I could go on for the whole hour, really, and talk about her, but I won't do that anymore. You guys, it's Becca Tobin. Yay. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. I've been waiting for the invitation. I didn't want to like be too forward the last yeah. couple Sundays, but <laughs> it was time. Let's was, not be modest about her podcast, either. It's called yeah. Lady Gang, and it's massive. M yes, Thank massive. You. You just, they just had 100 million downloads. Yeah. Overnight. Yes, in, a, in one day. Yeah, <laughs> huge. <laughs> Joe this, Rogan who? This is, yeah. <laughs> this is purely a strategic move to have you on. It, yeah. So we can get some of those listeners. Absolutely. That's the only reason that you should have guests on. <laughs> um, like a true business It's so great to, you know, the first time I met you, oh God, so long ago now. Mm -hmm. I think it was August. Yes. And. Um, 2020. You were so nice because I was going through, I was going through it, you know, mm -hmm. and we're all to a degree going through it. Sure. At a time. Mm -hmm. But she listened to me. She listened to me talk. She she gave me great advice. She's been kind of, you know, I cry on this shoulder on you, and then I use her other shoulder for the other shoulder <laughs> oh, to cry. How nice. I didn't know she did that for you. Her, I didn't either. Her dog uh, oh, yes. has become, I mean. Yeah. Rob, Rob. Rob actually might have found the love of his life. Yeah. If Orly was a human, people would not want to be around us. <laughs> it's true. It's but true. many people feel that way about her. You and your husband Bean. bring a fantastic vibe yep. to the Sundays. Thank you. Yeah. Just unbelievable. You too. I mean, I we don't I think we bring really... a darker energy. A, uh, dar a, a, <laughs> yeah. a, ma a dark magic. To, yeah. I bring dark magic to my own house? <laughs> I bring it. Oh, we oh. do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, I, I was like, I was like we're oh, generally you, dressed in black and, you know, but um, yeah, you guys are the bright uplift Beacons and me of Rob will, will tug on you and bring Yeah, you. yeah, you do that. Welcome to the pod. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, our little pod. I never like Google like to Google people before I meet them or after I meet them or whatever. So I didn't. And then Jamie, I remember the first time Jamie brought you up was because we were kicking like people are like, oh, we want merch. We want merch. So I'm like, we should put out a pajama pants book uh, with all the questions we've asked on the show when we talk about it. And Jamie's like, oh, my friend Becca, like she. But I thought she said you were a podcast producer. Mm -hmm. Well, she helped produce my other podcast, Mama Said. Like That's I went to when I was thinking of doing Mama Said, I basically called Becca and made her sit down and have coffee with me and tell me what I should do. And then she helped produce our show. Right. So I never Googled you. Didn't know anything. We met. You're great. And then I, we hung out another Sunday, another Sunday. And then last night before the podcast, I'm like, well, I don't want to Google you. I don't like to Google people. I'm like, but let me find your uh, Instagram. Mm. Oh. So I go to look for your Instagram. <laughs> I, we're sitting with a fucking boss. And yes. you want to you know why? You know what her Instagram name is? Just at Becca. Whoa. Like, sh like Cher and Madonna. Yep. Do you know how many? With a check. With a check. How many Bachelorette <laughs> contestants would spill blood for that handle? And how many Bachelor contestants have been Becca's? Exactly. That's, that's, that's what she's, yeah. Bums me the fuck out. Well, is it because <laughs> um, you were early on the platform or is it because you just no, used, she paid. You, had, you greased the wheels a little bit? I actually did pay a small fee mm. of I think $500. Oh, very small fee. Very small in the grand scheme yes. of things. But it was strictly because I didn't want any other Becca from the Bachelor franchise yeah. to get it. No, yeah. I'm not from the Bachelor franchise, just. You are right. the reason they go by Becca and then first letter of their last name. Yeah, yeah Becca oh, H. Oh, that's yeah. right. Becca, you would just be just, Becca. Just Becca. Becca. Wow. See, I didn't even look, I didn't even get past just the Becca. I didn't even look at your post because I was just staring at the name. How? What a G. Thank right? you very much. Wow, incredible. The most yeah. impressive thing any you of your friends have ever. You never know it when meeting her. No. She carries I, it well. I'm it's like, you know super she has, grounded. You know she has <laughs> Becca? <laughs> on Instagram. Wow. I mean, just, it's very impressive. It is. Yeah. Thank you. I, it I is. don't have Instagram, but I would imagine that's a lot worth a lot more than $500. Oh, that's crazy. That's I agree. Gotta be. Becca? Yeah. I'm surprised you have to pay. Wouldn't it be just first come, first serve? The oh, only someone reason. Someone had it. The, yeah, someone had it. Oh, okay. They were okay. not a very active user. And so I think Facebook just goes in and like they'll just evict. You know what's you... so funny? And not to tout my own sort of uh, notoriety, but. When I tried to get Instagram, just Cassim mm -hmm. G, 
some kid had it. Here comes and the he was like, And he was like, yeah, I'll sell it to you. I was like, no, fuck you. And then I just put, I used my name and did backwards. it backwards. And I, I've like hurt myself because people For can't. For sure. You've now it's just my yourself. name backwards. And then uh, some fucking. I just realized that, by the way. He's like some 14 year old kid. And he was well, what, like trying to fleece me for some for cash. What How you wanna, it works. What you want to do when your name is Kasim is make it more confusing for people. I, that's exactly what I did. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. That's uh, gonna, that's gonna do wonders for your career. Yeah, I've no never been great at self promotion. Bryce's garage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, hey. So what? Is, what's your podcast about? And is it? Uh, and why is it better than ours? Well, <laughs> no one said it was better. And quite frankly, I think I'm gonna. If you'll have me, I'll just come here. Great. I think it, it seems like it. more Bring fun. Bring the dog next Amazing. You would really oh. even out the energy. I need some testosterone. It's yeah. The lady gang is... It's... Well, you're not going to get a lot in this room. <laughs> <laughs> no. and Good this luck. Is, this is a true story. I'm low. I'm low on it. I'm yeah. pretty sure. We've actually discussed that. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure low I'm low. It's just... I'm anemic. That's why we have meat Sundays and we eat a lot of meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need yes. more iron. Um, yeah. So what do you guys do? What so you guys do? we talk about it's, you know, it's three women and we have a guest occasionally and we talk about all things like sex, dating, career, mm. friendship. Um, try, you know, what do you do if you queef during intercourse? You know, oh. stuff like that. The real hard We laugh. Issues. Hard. I got issues. the answer. We I laugh. laugh. Yeah. We laugh. You have to laugh. Of course. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a fine line between queen and What do you do fart. if you don't laugh? It's oh. <laughs> Then I Can take. Then I then I see how far I could push on my queef in my mouth. You know, oh, interesting. Yeah, I always think of uh, the old gack that they used to sell, the Nickelodeon gack, yes. and then you put it in the the container yeah. and it would do. I'm like, oh. huh, this is gonna come in. This is gonna play when I'm older. You know, I'm gonna figure this out. Yeah. Uh, essentially, it's just air. It's just air. And yeah. for your penis to be of size to displace that kind of air and create a sound is it's a testament. That's not true because oh. I can do it. And <laughs> <laughs> well, you're of some girth. No, I'm not saying it's a lot. That's not true. <laughs> there's some. There's something. There's some. Oh, there's something there for sure. Yeah. 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 I look like the uh, picture of that person you showed me from that show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lovecraft Country decided to have a hermaphrodite uh, in full view, and they had a little dinghy. There's a woman with boobs and then a little yeah. dinghy. Yeah. Prosthetic. Not pro oh, I was going to say, it's prosthetic? Well, you know, this is what I was thinking. I, I would be a great prosthetic penis guy. That that job is in demand right now because so many shows like Watchmen and all, you know, there's a lot of shows that are using prosthetic uh, wieners. And I think I could uh, be the guy that molds them, shapes them. Wow. Thank God. Are you telling me that guy's penis was fake? In Watchmen? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Please. Well, look, I hope. <laughs> if that thing yeah. was, yeah. Yeah, that thing was coiled up on the ground when he is was kneeling. Is there such thing as hermaphrodites? Like real, real, yeah, like yes. double genital? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so, It's yeah. not like a unicorn? There's a guy on Reddit who was a famous Reddit post where he had two dicks. Double yeah, dick guy. Yeah, I remember. He, he walked up to a wall and peed and there were two... Yeah, one of them gets a boner, the other one just kind of hangs out. Um, no, but all no. the women. Hey, that sounds like me and you. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other one just Thanks, hangs Bryce. Out. <laughs> you like that one. So this is what the kind of stuff you talk about. Yes, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. 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 Is there are anything, a good time. Is there anything that's off limits? We don't talk politics. Good. Smart. Um, you know, too divisive. Yeah. And uh, we try not to talk about sex with our husbands or significant others, but it doesn't always happen. Who else are you fucking? Ooh. Well, like, <laughs> you know, Jack is not married. She was dating. She's the other host. She was dating many, many men. A lot of deal. I love that actors. song. Is that the many, 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 many men? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she, for a while, when she was single, it was a really good time to hear about, you know, matching with Dane Cook on Raya. Ooh. Yeah, he heavily photoshops his photos, apparently, because she... Um, yeah, yeah. Why, well, anyone, that, anyone that would know that from his comedy shows, if you see the flyer to the show and then you see him up on stage, knows yeah. that there's quite a bit of... Yeah, it's like my Instagram. For you sure. can attest to I did my 21st birthday in Vegas, the picture on me, I look like a model. Mm, I have one for <laughs> in you. In the photo. Yeah. Hold on, I just got sent one. Keep going. The, sure, James. Jesus the, uh, Christ. The editing there's of, the testosterone you're going to get the in The editing room. of photos uh, and also girls... There's been some girls. Oh yeah, you look. You look like a British rocks, like a, a like yeah, a, like some sort of like you're an he oasis does. or something. Yeah, you're just missing yeah. like a, a ring on your finger. I yeah, like on the index why. finger. When you girls are using Facetune, mm -hmm. it is so obvious. And I don't know if Facetune has like a a, a, a dial where you can kind of dial it back mm -hmm. a little bit, but sometimes it is just it sends you, you have a very nice face, but then you 
crank up this filter yeah. and then all of a sudden I go from, oh, there's a pretty person. I go, there's probably a pretty person who's so self-involved mm -hmm. in how she's yeah. uh, putting her you know, face out there and she's very into, you know, it's it it, it it's a red flag. Yeah, right but you know what? Then you get people commenting that you look sick. <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> look. When you don't. When you're not. <laughs> yeah. Not sick. There's been some comments. Feel good. Full, full, clean bill of health, guys. Clean bill guys. of health here. Ask her a hot doc. I'm from Ask my hot doctor. <laughs> Look, there's neck. comments. <laughs> Ask her archaeologist. She's <laughs> healthy as it gets. Yep. Yep. Yeah, she's, uh, look, th there's been a few comments. And we've as, as we've been growing on YouTube, we have been getting uh, a few trolls mm. here and there. And uh, mm. I imagine you guys may have your fair share. Yeah. Um, it comes with the territory. Mm hmm they like to say a couple things about us. They like to say that I am uh, I am lost in my own sexuality and I can't find a direction or pick pick one. <laughs> and then they're saying Jamie looks sick. So uh, not much about Rob. They love you. No, Rob, no, Rob's just the cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just nothing just about Rob ever. Somebody get creative, for yeah. God's sakes. I'll oh, think please. of something before the end of okay, this. Okay, great. Listen, I could give you a a, a list <laughs> that would be to fill up this book. Can and some we... girl will read the list and she'll be like, oh, he's my guy. Yeah. They That's are my all guy. saying that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, listen, when I was at my worst, when I was a fucking doing coke every day, that no, never was I wanted more by girls ever in my life. When because I was a nobody... disaster. Yeah. And, by the way, I, I can think back to the whole Sopranos experience. You were everyone's favorite. Like, you're, you're just so authentic, no matter what, like your habits are your habits were or your choices were you were always still a good guy you know you were never an asshole ever 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 and you were so incredibly authentic and so like grounded always in who you were that that's very attractive like you want to be around somebody like that and attractive i mean like not even like in a platonic way too you cute though you cute well and young women love people men with issues yeah chaos yeah, chaos unpredictability yeah. Oh, yeah they get um <laughs> yeah. yeah but but drug addiction is so did i yeah top of the list for me oh, in my absolutely. 20s for who when i was in my 20s i loved oh, yeah, a man yeah. with a like yeah you know, it's like a rubik's yeah. cube you're like oh yeah. i'm gonna take that home He's and like spend my yeah. life turning it and making it so all the colors are the same and it's also like he's cheating on you but not with a human totally you know? yeah secrets galore yeah mystery i was oh He's my mysterious. god <laughs> yeah the reasons that i would get mad were just so like you know what? it was just anything that would get in the way of my addiction you oh. know so it was like i want to sit on this couch and take 15 percocets and if somebody's going to get in the way of that i'm angry you mm -hmm. know no matter what yeah. it was it's like my air conditioner in my apartment would stop working and i'd be so mad because i'd be like somebody has to fucking come in here like i can't and i can't just be you know like oh. i can't just be sitting here with all of my fucking pill i had an ashtray on the arm of my couch that it was a very soft couch, but around the ashtray, you, when you knocked on it, it went because it was so hard from the burn, from the burn, all the ashing and just like the heat and everything. Was it leather? When I was no, it was like cotton, like whatever. Yeah. It was so soft, but I would ch I would take Percocets and just chain smoke cigarettes. Mm. Ch I would light. I had a phone number that was cigarettes in my phone, and I would call it when I would light a cigarette to make sure I didn't smoke one for the next twenty minutes. Like that's how bad it got. Because otherwise, I would just as soon as I'd put one out, like I'd turn around, start doing something, and then I'd grab the pack and light another one up. I was buying only by the carton, like ten packs at a time. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It was. Crazy. I'm, I'm hearing that. It's like oh, that sounds fun. That sounds it was like a good great. Time. The Percocet sounds great. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. it was. The, a, it's a dream. But Until it's you also have to like. Poop. Yeah. Oh. Well, we've talked about it on here, but I I was taking Percocets so many for so long that I forgot that that wasn't how you poop. <laughs> I like swear. You, you thought you would normally go a week without pooping? No, no, no. I never really went a week without pooping because of the way that I eat. <laughs> you know, right. that, that like crazy fucking Chicken three hour binge. Diet? Yeah. But like, uh, I just thought like it hurt. Like when you would poop, it, oh. it hurt a oh. lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, and then when I got off of Percocets, I remember like the first shit that didn't hurt. And I was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> you're like, this is how. Your world was changed. <laughs> or like when you wake up in the morning and you don't feel like death, you know, you're like, oh, people. People don't always feel like shit mm. every time they mm -hmm. wake up. But back to you. <laughs> yeah. Enough Do your about... poops hurt? <laughs> no, never, actually. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm but very you, were regular. you were talking about your pee oh, before yes. we started. Yes. 
And our so what it is is our my favorite podcast, your mom's house. They made a joke that like if you want to live optimum health, you should push really hard when you pee and poop. And Becca was like, I do that. I have a theory. So UTIs are caused by bacteria in the urethra, mm-hmm. and I feel like if you really force out the pee, the velocity of the pee will just clean out. It's like uh-huh. a pressure washer uh-huh. for your yeah urethra. Yeah. So I do that, and my husband will occasionally hear me peeing, and he's like, so every you get the time, hose it, yeah. There? yeah, every time it catches him off guard, he's like, "How hard are you pushing? Yeah. <laughs> as hard as possible. As hard as I can. I don't want to UTI. It really puts a damper oh, on UTIs life. UTIs are the worst. The fucking worst. And then antibiotics, and then the whole, and then not pooping. I mean, this is. The and then you got to like counteract the yeast sitch if the antibiotics yeah. too strong. Got to eat a lot of yogurt. Yep. And that's why Kasim loves vagina. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> looks traumatized. It's a complicated right now. creature. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have a friend, she gets uh, UTIs, you know, if a guy just looks at her funny, yeah. you know what I mean? She yeah. just gets them all oh, the yeah. time. And I imagine that's just gotta be, that's gotta play into the sexual sort of, you know, it's gotta put a damper on when things are getting exciting in the bedroom, you know? Cause what, you have to like, what do you gotta do? You've gotta keep it clean, but then after sex, you've gotta wash it out. You've gotta pee, pee right you've after. Gotta pee. You've got to, uh, you can't like let s- stuff dry. Uh, yeah, so you know, I know I sound like I really know my way around a puss, but <laughs> maybe you can shed some no, light. No, this is just bringing me to a conversation that Becca and I had with another friend when we were out to dinner about WAPs. Oh yes, that's yeah. a derogatory term to our Italian <laughs> friends. It's WAPs. What what it's Don't just keep saying it, Jesus, Jamie. God, is it WAP? WAP. Sorry. Wap. I don't know. What? She's not sorry. She says <laughs> shit like this all the time, guys. What? I uh, should hear her. Pussy. Pussy. She's like, God, so, that whole cast of Sopranos, just a bunch of... <laughs> just a bunch of... I, 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 I normally would say it. Now I'm traumatized. I would say it wrong. Well, just Becca will want us to edit her out of the entire yeah. podcast if we say anything no, wrong. No, it's so fine. We're, we're yeah. straight in. We're I've just, got a lot of big time sponsors. Yeah, this is the doctors. <laughs> the new podcast you're coming to. So, Jamie, clean vagina? No, we was just like in your 20s. Like, the, like... When you're dating, you're uh, going out in New York City. Like I had like one of those like summer's eve packets in like every purse, and like it was my thing. Like right before I knew it was gonna go down, I'm like just gotta pee, and I was like, I if I didn't care if I tasted like perfume as long as it was like yeah, you right. know, not magic. Sweat. Now was, I'm like, oh, sorry. Uh, but we, this, I mean, know. I still as lazy as I am. Like there's <clears throat> there, I could never in my life. I, I cannot have a bad Yelp review about the odor no, of my vagina. Never. Yeah, never. You can't. Like never, Agreed. ever, ever. I can't Agreed. even. I can't go a day without showering, like just for my own. Yes. But if someone's down there, it's like no. I would. I went to great lengths when I lived in New York, and I was just randomly hooking up with men to make sure my vagina was pristine. It's yes. good because I still remember the girl from fifteen years ago who, that, right. who yep. did not right. have. And oh, it caused me. Can we tell the story? It caused me to them? use yep. yes. wet wipes. <laughs> and by the way, I ordered a box of wet wipes. I uh, they opened don't it do up. the trick. You need the summer's eve. Mm. I used a bo- yes. uh, got the wet wipes through Amazon. Got an email right after I started using them, saying, "Hey, by the way, the a lot of these have bacteria in them, that, and they're going to get you sick." I just saw that. Yeah, it's not good. Cottonelles. Cottonelles. <gasps> Cutter orders them by like the. You've got to look and get the serial number off of it and put oh, it into a website, geez, and they'll Louisa. tell you if your batch is clean or not. Bad news for buttholes everywhere. Terrible. Sorry. Go well, ahead. Becca's got a story. Okay. So <laughs> speaking of puss. Um, my, this is my type of husband's, apology. one of his best friends was on spring break in college somewhere in Mexico and he meets a girl and she's like heavy set, but confident as fuck. You know what I mean? Like just, we do. Yeah. <laughs> the confidence will shed 20 to 30 right off you. Yeah. 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 So he was, he drank, he drank a lot already and she was confident and she was down They'd been dancing all night and partying, drinking, whatever. He doesn't even know where she came from. And they go back to the hotel room. She takes off her pants and he starts traveling south and he notices an odor. Mm -hmm. And she just looked at him and she said, stinks, don't it? Yeah. (laughs) Hell yeah. What do you do, dude? What do you do? You go, I start fucking. I start fucking. Stanks, don't it? Yeah. Stanks, don't it? Stanks, don't it? (laughs) Hell yeah. I like that shit. Right? (laughs) I knew you'd love this story. 
Uh, Cutter's reaction was similar. Cutter was yeah. like, that's hot. Hell yeah. She's confident. Really? You know? Oh my yeah. God. I, can't. I see hygiene issues. <laughs> Cass is like, oh. Listen, I, th- I've, I've talked about- Whatever's on there is going to get on, on yeah. me and I've live t- on me. I've talked about it before. <laughs> the girl who shoved her tongue in my butt, I had been partying for days. Day- oh. Like I was, oh, yeah. yeah. And she, oh yeah, yeah. She ate his butt. Yeah, you gotta this go was back a woman, a couple and she ate her ate Rob's butt. She put so here's what happened, right? Oh gosh. I I just met the, I was I'm at a bar, and I see the shot girl come by, and she is unbelievable. Like I'm like this girl is fucking so beautiful, and she has like you know twenty shots. I don't know. She has shots on the thing, and I go, if I if I buy all those shots, like I was like, how long would it take you to sell all those shots? And she's like, I don't know, like twenty minutes. I'm like, if I buy all of them right now. We just hang out with us for 15 minutes, and she was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "Okay," uh, and eat my butt. <laughs> no, I was, five I was like, minutes to spare. <laughs> yeah, we just hang out with us for, <laughs> for 15 minutes. So she's like, "Okay." So I, I, I whatever the cost, I we all take the shots and we're hanging out. And then the next thing you know, I'm like, "Hey, you want to come back to my place after this?" With whatever time you get off, she comes back to my place. We're naked in my bed, and I thought she was going to give me a blowjob. And she takes her like hands, puts them on the back of my knees, and just pushes. <laughs> All the way up and goes to town. Ugh. Goes. Your penis was not in her mouth, like at all before this. Not well, at she all. She was gonna go for the blowjob, and then she goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> full duck. Yeah, I, underneath. I, I don't fully remember, but I know it wasn't like mid blowjob. It might have like went in her mouth for a second or whatever, but it was like right, yeah. right to the. Th- and by the way. I hadn't showered. I was fucking dead. It was like living on a prayer. You know, a bar on the fucking Upper East Side of Manhattan. Like yeah. we're doing Bon Jovi fucking, you know. Uh, yeah, I was sweaty and disgusting. And I probably hadn't washed my sheets in a month. Like it was all just, <laughs> all of it was just gross. And she like all good. Like, yeah, she loved it. And uh, I saw her like two months later, kind of like cozying up with a girl. And I was like, oh, maybe she was a lesbian. And that's why she went right for my butthole. But uh, I was thinking maybe I'm a lesbian because I don't want to do that to a man's butthole. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like that's well, yeah. Because there's there's the thought I have too, where I'm like, oh, there's guys who are way more into vagina than me. When I see those porns where it's like, like yeah, zooming in and spreading it out, and I'm like, ugh. Like I'm like, that's fucking yeah. They go yeah. like, it, it, like they have yeah. cameras that they put inside of like a meaning that turns some people on. Yeah, yeah. Like you want to get like for me, it's like this is like becoming surgical like I, I just yeah. I don't I don't they take like a dildo <laughs> and they'll put a camera on the tip of it so you could see it going in what it what the insides look, and whenever because when you go to jerk off there's like 40 windows that pop up of, of porn and whenever that pops up it's like ah like you mean choices yeah there's like 40 fo- choices yeah it's like old it's, it's, like, a create your own, it's like a create your own story like create your own ending it's Roblox it's Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, no, it's 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 like you go to the most viewed page or the best video page, and it's a bunch of thumbnails. Most of them are like uh, stepdaughter, you know, milf. Oh my Some god! Some of the most viewed ones are all Indian because I think the guys in India are watching, mm. and they there's a lot of them, and they watch porn. And guess what? Their porn is Indians having sex and so you'd go <laughs> you'd go to the most viewed page makes sense and uh all of a sudden yeah they're like top three is just like a bunch of people in like you know a, a sarong or what i don't know what they wear but they're but then under that then there's the mother daughter or the mother son which is <gasps> where step oh, yeah. son step son no you're like hey bo you look dirty from Football, Ew, baseball stop, practice. He did it. Stop, he did it. Over. No. <laughs> he did no. It. Would you? Would you slide into no. second? How about sliding into home when no. mommy's put? No. no. What? That's not good. No. You like that, bro? I Come didn't on. know you were gonna get that sick with it. Hey, that's that's what. I didn't oh, know you were gonna get I'm that sick with it. There's fucking testosterone in this room. Damn it, this Robbie went there. Devastating. <laughs> I'm upset. He made a situation with you and your son. And by the way, I I think are there more people in China or India? Uh, China. I think they're pretty China? close because you would think China would come. I think they're like a billion each or something. And China's porn doesn't even come close to the Indian porn because it's blurred out. All the Asian oh. porn on there is blurred out. And you try and what like all genitals in? Yeah. Is it all Asian porn or just Japanese? I think it's all Asian. I, uh, it's a great question. Completely That's blurred out. 
Gabby, would so you mind? What's the point? Exactly. Would it's, you mind pulling up some Asian porn, please? This is for work. It's no, so Gabby. bizarre. Should we? Uh, we're speaking gonna, we're speaking, just, speaking of masks. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, let's cover up this conversation about me and Bo and talk about Braddock USA. You guys, best mask, premium upcycled t-shirt material, jersey, super soft, eco-friendly. Um, offer all the protection and the comfort. Machine washable, made in Los Angeles. Protect our community. Um, they are the best. We love them. Look how cute they are. Look at all the different choices. I'll model them on my arm. <laughs> so when you go check out their website at braddockusa.com, you will see that they already have great prices. But for a limited time, they are offering an additional 20% off with promo code PJPANTS. PJ. Again, that's 20% off of your entire order with the promo code PJPANTS at braddockusa.com, braddockusa.com with promo code PJPANTS. There you go. Look at that. How huh? long do you think I can keep my arm up? Probably no, not long. And try it. Let's the, uh, sorry, we usually do the commercials, but with with the guests not here. But you're like family, so it's it's totally fine. Yeah, those... I liked it. I thought it was great. <laughs> you get to see Jamie shine. She really She's is. amazing with those commercials. Mm -hmm. right, yeah, that's where that's where I really come in handy here. So, um, no. Go ahead. You have something to say? Nope. <laughs> something about coming in. My, handy? We know you don't fuck your son. Uh, so uh, my, my friend called me. <laughs> so <laughs> disrespectful. Yeah, at least not while well, he's underage. My my friend called oh my me. Gosh. And he's like, listen, I need to talk to you about what just happened with this girl I'm dating. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, I'm talking to two lovely women later and I'll get their, I'll get their advice. Yes. Um, <laughs> so he says, he's dating this girl for three weeks. He's like, oh, I really like her, whatever. Apparently some, another dude was trying to get in her pants says, by the way, this story is about my friend Mark. And I told him, can I tell the story? I'm not gonna, I won't say your name. He's like, no, you could tell it only if you give me a shout out. <laughs> Unbelievable, <laughs> uh, Mark. There's your shout out. <laughs> last I would, name? I wouldn't want it. I don't think he wants. Is this last our name. Mark? No, 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 not Mark. Oh, okay. Who's been on the show? Mark. Yeah, no, no, another, no, different Mark. Yes, yeah, the Mark who you texted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So he tells me I'm, I'm dating this girl three weeks. Another guy who wanted to get in her pants is like, listen, that guy is no good. Like, he's he's a bad dude, and he's not. He's actually a really a good dude. It hurts me to say that, but so he's he's a good guy, and and you know, she, so she so she goes home. Then she goes to see him. She brings a $25,000 purse that she had and she puts it on his table and goes, take this. If you'll take this and never call me again. Like, I know you're you're using me. You're blah, 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 blah. Just take this and never, you, never call me again. And that was her way of like, I don't know. Like, what? again, why he wanted a shout out. She sounds fucking nuts. Wait, <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. So basically Who she said the like, purse? she thought that she was she was being fed information from somebody, some other guy saying he's using you. Right. He's using you. He's a bad dude. So her whatever. reaction was to show up at his house with a very extensive handbag and say, take this and never call me. Yeah. I think it was crocodile. What oh. is the move here? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, she sounds. Um, what does she do? Is she wealthy? Uh, I think her family like has some money. But not soprano what money or anything. <laughs> like, it's not YouTube. Money. I don't have a $25,000 <laughs> I mean, bag. Hell no. That's... Yeah, she doesn't have like girl gang cash, but you know. She's, no, she's, I mean, neither do I. It's yeah. lady gang. So lady fuck gang. You. Oh, oh my god. god, this is. <laughs> what did he do? Uh, no, I want to hear what. What the fuck do you think's going on there? I have no idea. I, like, I need more. Information. She gave what do you him think? the I purse. Think Mark... They've only been dating for three weeks. Yeah, she gave him the purse and was like, "Listen, I know you're using me. Just instead of keep on using me or whatever, take this and delete my number. Never." So she's paying him to leave her alone. Mark is not, sh he's not giving all the information. Agree. He, d does Mark have money? Uh, not, not either. Like he's not rich. He's not poor, but he's not, he's not hiding information from me. He's, he's like a really honest, good. So good she's dude. a paranoid person maybe with some issues and maybe this other person's like feeding some. Wait, but I still don't understand the I move. I don't either. Like. She's like, well, Do you're just using don't me. Call me. And he's probably like, I don't want your bag. I want you. Well, girls are fucking nuts. Well, if it's $25,000 bag, I would have to make a decision. Yeah. Oh, I'd be on the way to the pawn way, shop. So if I'd be like, tell me what you would do. <laughs> well, if she's crazy, I'd be like, I'm sorry. I'd, I'd be taking the purse. And I'd be like, I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> and then I would make my way down to the local pawn shop or a consignment store. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, put that bitch up for sale. I wish I could see her Instagram. You know how I fast... feel like I could tell you in three seconds flat what's going on. You yeah. know, you know how fast I would be on the forgot my password on eBay page. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> yeah. like you're getting that email, yeah. I'm just like refreshing over and over. Like, come on, I got to know. Yeah. I, I also want to be like, well, clearly you're crazy. How do I know this is real? Right. <laughs> This could be, you know, some knockoff. Stamped leather, not croc. Yeah. yeah. This bitch sounds crazy. She sounds Cut her loose. And, and also interesting, I'd like to get to know her. And here's the craziest part. My friend who wanted his name on pajama pants, 24 hours later called me and he's like, yeah, I asked her to be my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, man. So now they're it dating. Worked. Yeah, she was pulling a move. She just fucking... What the it. heck? Black yeah. magic. God, God bless her. Mark. Well, will it work with a... Five hundred dollar bag? I mean, <laughs> can I do it to my husband later? Yeah. <laughs> Jamie's like, can I do it to my doctor? <laughs> Everyone has a five hundred dollar bag. Yeah. <laughs> can we talk about the Bachelorette? Did you watch it? I haven't watched oh. Bachelor or Bachelorette in like fifteen years. Oh, you're such a better person. I stopped. I started watching again just for this podcast, so we have something to talk about. Really? And let me tell you something. There's a guy on the show who said I wrote it down. He said he's a male grooming specialist. Yeah. When they showed his like head and the dude, you're a barber. <laughs> a male grooming spe what do you I mean, it bothered me so I, the next 20 minutes I have no idea what was said anything. I'm like a sure. male grooming specialist, what are you doing? Sure. I, it's right. such a horse like what what am I like a, a well, semi professional a verbal cultivator sets. of the, I'm a f I'm doing a fucking podcast These just guys say what you're doing maybe out. they're doing maybe does like male grooming on like film sets and photo shoots he's still the same doing the same thing there's not more things to groom now you shave a guy's like maybe he does shape ups <laughs> like what do you do yeah. a male grooming specialist well maybe yeah. a barber is just on the head and he covers the entire body oh. no barbers are not bar have you ever never been to a barber shop listen one I've of my never best had him sh cut my pubes one of my best friends was a barber growing up he <laughs> if he called himself a male grooming specialist we would not be friends but would anymore. he cut your, your pee pee hair no this guy's <laughs> not on there saying i'm cutting pee pee hair he's saying it's so hot when you say that yeah that's not what this guy's God, saying let me see your pee pee hair what okay let's say how about this before it works <laughs> Before you got married. I've never had the smallest boner <laughs> ever. Before you got married, Becca, if you, uh, you know, Jamie's like, oh, why don't you meet my friend? Oh, no, you can't be Jamie's friend. You're at a bar with mm -hmm. your friends. You meet a guy mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, what do you do for a living? And he's like, oh, I'm a male grooming specialist. I'll be totally honest right now. I would probably Google how much money a male grooming <laughs> specialist makes because if they make bank, I don't care what if you're cutting pee pee hair. Yeah. I but got no. No judgments. Where are you cutting pee pee hair? Well, let's get to the real point. <laughs> Becca I'm trying wants to understand some cash. why it's different than a barber. <laughs> Becca, Maybe you, that's why. It's not. Becca, you like a man with some money, is what you're saying. Uh, Nothing wrong with that. Here's and the And with thing. short pee pee hair. I've never been someone that has dated for money, and I regret it. I feel like <laughs> all of my friends that are single now, mm. now that I'm like a grown up taking care of, like, homeowners insurance and shit like i'm like if you're single please you can love a man with money as easily as you can love a man without money mm. you know what i mean like just do yourself a favor yeah sorry for everyone listening who's yeah a poor i mean i didn't i didn't choose i'm technically unemployed and i've never felt less about myself well yeah me too so there the, goes my chance it was impossible for the testosterone to go down in this room no Nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to grow breasts. My <laughs> tea is so low. <laughs> you look good with boobs. See, Kasim does the opposite. He don't tell me things like that. Don't give me weird compliments. I can't compliments. wait for the girl that does this shit for us on Instagram to make a picture of Kasim with boobs no, right now. No, do not. Yes, I will must. not post it. You mm. must. Whoever did the backless photo, no, backless dude. dress photo, I don't, give One day I'm going to have kids and they're going to Google my name. They're going to see me with a backless dress, He's me with realized boobs. he has the same body as Hillary Swank. I do. Oh. We have the same arms. And no, back. she's much more petite than you are. <laughs> I, thought she was, I thought you were going to say she's much more muscular. She's yeah. ripped. She what are clearly you works about? out. She doesn't have to tell people she works out. Yeah, I have to tell people. No, she's so small. Know. Is she? I've oh never my seen gosh, her I saw her at a luggage, a baggage claim in LAX one time, and she's very like ninety pounds. You're like, you need oh. help with that. She's like sinewy. I know. <laughs> yeah, on <laughs> camera life. though, she looks ripped. Yeah. No, I think that you. Maybe that's just what space does to a woman. Probably. 
You'd she know. went to Mars, Jamie. She, she did. Would know. So, okay, so you're saying... Um, sorry, was that It's okay. I'm look, sorry. and you're a pretty girl, so I feel like it's easy for you to have that option. But some women out there don't have what you have here. Well, and, thank you. I'm, yeah, I well, appreciate you saying that. You know, it's less of a compliment, more just like a fact. Yeah, I know. And um, <laughs> we know it didn't you're feel. pretty. Yeah, you're pretty. It didn't feel that as warm you can, and fuzzy. <laughs> as you can tell, I have some issues around pretty girls. Well, I had a laser t- taken to my face yesterday, an IPL laser. So I'm like, what's that do? It, it burns off all the like age spots on your face. Oh. So I came here forgetting that the cameras are going to be on. Oh, I should have said You look that. great. You, look great. you well, look great. But thank you. But I'm saying like... It's like a face tune, but for real life. I knew I needed to like really dumb it down because I can tell you have a lot of resentment around beautiful women. I do, yeah. So I'm actually happy I came with this busted mug because I <laughs> yeah. can't Universe. imagine how much ruder you'd be to yeah. me right now. Yeah. <laughs> Universe works in mysterious no, ways. No, I'm learning to deal with it, but it's... It's fine. Well, um, to answer your question... I, I like how honest you were. Thank you. Um, and, and if given the choice now, but you're saying now your husband mm-hmm. was somebody you dated, not because he had money, right. but he just happened to he does he, he does well. I will say when we met, he was making less money than me. Yeah. Um, so I definitely didn't choose. But you were making a lot of money. Tons of cash money. <laughs> <laughs> that glee money. Yeah. There's, there's, yes. There's, there's numbers That's in his network. Instagram handle. <laughs> you know. That's na- that's a na- yeah, exactly. <laughs> his last name and numbers. Right. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Peasant. <laughs> um, it's it would be very tough in that time when you guys probably started dating for a man to be making more than you. I'd say because you were in the upper. I mean, not really. I wasn't slumming it by any means, sure. but I certainly could have tried harder in finding someone with a jet or a yacht. You know what I mean? <laughs> but now that I'm 34 and having shit burned off my face, it's over. Yeah. You know, even if my husband were to leave me, I probably couldn't couldn't land that big fish. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. You got to be young. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no you could. Pl- listen, there's guys. Rob knows. Yeah. I know. I know some dudes with. Some shot all. They're they're willing to throw it for a lot less than you. Do they, so they date uglier women? Because this is to Cassim's point. He thinks that ugly women can't get. I also wealthy. think beauty comes from the inside. <laughs> but you you might you might not <laughs> have vagina. You might not have personality. <laughs> the personality that it takes to date one of those guys, like you have yes, to. Yes, that's that's a thing. I yeah. don't. I don't. Right. Exactly. So I yeah, don't you do gotta go stuff. middle of the, a guy with a yacht isn't gonna be okay with you just being like, yeah, you look fine. True. You know, True. Like you there, really there is to. a connection with guys that own boats and anal play. I would I would feel like they love butt stuff. Thousand percent. Yeah. To get Thousand. back to the theme of the show. Yeah. Talk talk to me. What are the what's the what are like the what are the things? Okay. You so need boat to guys gave, like a, date a boat guy. Yeah. Boat guys like anal. Um. You've got jet <laughs> you got, you jet guys like boobies. jet guys like to drug you. They like you to lay still like a oh. dead fish. <gasps> I have a story about this. Here we go. I knew it. That's actually I was segueing. Okay, this is fucked up. What? So, I had a guy, a, a guy who groomed me, a hairstylist, <laughs> mm-hmm. who was cutting my hair for a while. He's in West Hollywood, and he would go all the time to the Sunset Tower for a, a house call for a Russian billionaire for his girlfriend, mistress. So, every single day, he'd go for, when they were in town, for a blowout, like a perfect blonde bob blowout. And on... Like a couple weeks in, he's like, you know, I don't need to come here every day. You can get more than one wear yeah. out of this wash. She said, no, my boyfriend likes it fresh. He needs it very fresh and very clean. And he's like, okay. So then over the next couple months, they got to know each other better. It turns out his request for her, the only job she had while being at the Sunset Tower was to get her blowout to look fresh and clean. But then she'd have to get into an ice bath every day for a certain amount of time so that her body temperature would get very low, lay on the bed, and he and pretend she was dead. That's twisted. I want to be that rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To where nothing she else. She wants you to be that rich. Where She's, nothing else I would gets get, you going. I would get in an ice bath for billions and pretend to be dead. Uh, yeah, yeah, what's the pay? A Do corpse. we know what yeah. the... What the unlimited whatever funds. she wants. Yeah, like, unlimited funds. Whatever she wants. She had designer everything. Like, 
whatever. Except for a pulse. Yeah. <laughs> he get, does he get to zip her up in the bag at the end? Oh, that's hot. A little toe tag action? Yeah. Yeah, that's hot. But, like, the perfect hair is also a weird combination. Yes. Well, it's kind of like a, yeah. Well, no, like that's, what they do, that's what they do mm. in the... When oh, you're yeah, in the casket. I was thinking in the, in the funeral, like, I'd put dead. two coins on her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like yeah. they do. That's fucked up. Isn't that I, fucked up? I would, I would kneel at the <laughs> side of the bed <laughs> before I fucked her. <laughs> I'd bring her friends and family yeah. and seat them in the front. Uh, could you say oh a couple God. of words oh, about your daughter in before the I of fuck a her? And then she's like, oh, I don't know what to say. I'm like, come on, well, she's still cold. Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> she's starting to warm up. Ew. <laughs> Isn't that fucked up? That's yes. wild. It's crazy that people have When they go to dinner, she can't order hot soup. She's got to <laughs> have the gazpacho. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Crudite only. Don't cook. That's care. <laughs> yeah, you think he goes to his therapist and he's like, how's the relationship? She's been a little cold <laughs> Things have but, never been um, better. I'm <laughs> yeah. trying to get through the vow. She's been a little cold lately, and I'm loving. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about dead. I know, dead but women. I was thinking of just like this just sexual does. like oh, yeah, abuse. I'm mm. trying to get through the vow. Yeah. I just keep falling asleep. Well, it's, it's my notes slow. terribly it's very paced. Slow. My notes say that <laughs> Becca paced. recruited 800 girls for Nexium. Is that true? I wish. Okay, Allie Mac looks that's like true. she's crushing life. Now, as an actress in the biz, <laughs> did you ever come across any of these people? Nothing sexual, which um, that was hard for my self esteem. Mm. <laughs> and you, you were you young too. What is I was young yeah. either. Imagine that. Right? Like, Same. where the fuck no were one, all these no men? No one ever came after me. Never. Never. Not even for Scientology? No. Oh, well, that's a different oh, story. Oh, I had a weird Scientology, but it wasn't a sexual Scientology. It was just sort of like, you know, seeing if I would be like yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that wasn't like that exciting. Nothing. Did no any Nexium. part of you go like, oh, I could. I could work this in. N no, because I was like fresh on the scene and I thought that like, mm. I don't need Scientology to get my next gig. Turns out, probably did. Mm. <laughs> if yeah. I had had hindsight, I probably would have joined. I can't stop, I can't, what's going through my brain right now is thinking about if that woman and her husband happened to be in like camping or something and like a bear attacked and it's just like, it's all the husband's guts and everything and she's left and the fucking park ranger's like how come he, how come he, yeah. how come he didn't go after you at all and she's like well yeah. me and my husband do this weird thing where he thought yeah. I was dead you I know what I think about I think of predator up in the trees <laughs> scanning right yeah. getting the heat signatures yeah. and she's just invisible the whole time yeah. <laughs> she's, uh, come here I'm something. here well, as as actress, as two actresses, have you ever cried to just get out of something, like in real life? Yeah, a ticket, a ticket. Of course, speeding ticket. I can't. Have cry. you ever? Oh, I can't cry for sure. I, I used to cry. hate that. Was that's that's like sixty percent of the reason I never want to act again. Crying, I fucking hate it. Oh. So we're, we used to talk about this. Me and Jamie it was the opposite. She hated to cry. No, no I she loved. loved to cry. It was tough for her to get angry. Yes. I was like, I fucking get angry right now for nothing. Every <laughs> time I get angry, people are like, uh, not buying it. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. It's like when Casim talks <laughs> about being cry? straight. Yeah. You know? Oh, dude. Can I get those girls, man? <laughs> Round them up, dude. I will dick them each, each and every one of them. Casim <laughs> showed up to one of our You'll Sundays. Dick I'll dick them good. Casim showed up to one of our Sundays in a <laughs> oh, yeah. football jersey. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've never seen oh, someone yeah. look more out of place. Look, I ordered a football jersey a size too large, and oh. I just showed up like a little kid, you know, like, hey, oh. guys, what's up? <laughs> Who's winning the match up there? It was uh, Rob. Rob was like, "You look insane." And that, <laughs> as I'm returning. I'm in the middle of returning it, sitting in a box. Very few people. You already get, wore it. I know, but you no. Know, yeah. Fanatics.com doesn't have to know that. Very few people will get this reference, unfortunately. But Casim looked like when you go to a sports book at a casino, and like the guys who take your bets. You know, like they're guys who just like have never yeah. played sports in their life, but they wear football jerseys to work. Oh, yeah. And that's it. That's the only person I've ever seen. I've been I've been to countless Giants game, Jets games. I've never seen one person look like Castle in a football jersey. I can't <laughs> no. tell you what it was. You tried. You it, really did it to match Bo. Well, yeah. It, and I was like, I, I, I do have a bunch of football jerseys. They're just in a box and they're old, like players that don't play anymore. And I used to wear football jerseys because I was around a, all my high school friends 
uh, and we would have to wear them every Sunday. But I haven't bought one in a while, so I don't know the sizes. So I bought a large, and I <laughs> and, and a Hillary large and a swank, fo- and, <laughs> and me and a Hillary swank body. A large is is. Uh, I'm swimming in the thing. So, um, yeah, I looked like uh, somebody who just doesn't, and I had like skinny pants on, you know, I wear skinny, skinnier yeah. pants. So I just looked weird, you know, like I I don't get sports, you know, and he was able to, eye, he eyeballed me real good. Two seconds, he was like, that doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even, it was like, the, like he walked in the door, glance, glance back, I had the whole, th- I knew, Yeah. you know. And then he walked, he's like, damn it. I have to return this. This is just this is just a bigger size. Yeah. Even Bo came out. He's like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like, "Tuck that in." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's for those of you that don't know, my son tucks everything yeah. in, like sweatshirts into sweatpants. Like he and he says it's because he saw a hockey player do it once. Well, we had to sit cool. him down. Me he and did. Rob it had to ask him. You actually asked me, and I didn't know. So you asked him. That's right. Yeah, and we we're like, "Hey, what's up? Why you tuck every everything in?" He's like. What did he say? He's like, I saw a hockey player saw- do it. <laughs> he did. Yeah. And it's cool. That's what he said. I saw yeah, a hockey cool. player do it and it's cool. Yeah. And so like, good. A kid who's already making style choice like that yeah. at that age, he they always our, matches. They were over our house last night for dinner and I one of you were like, what is that sound coming from that room? <laughs> I think Bo watches so much like YouTube of gamers. He literally just sits there and narrates what he's yeah. what he's doing. He's like, all right, guys, this is a hard, hard level here, guys. Yeah. And it's crazy. I've, is I, this OK? When he played well, when you see how much those kids are making. Yeah. But you, is this OK? Sure. It's like, fine. You need to tell me. Also, this has never happened in the, in the history of human beings. So we don't really know what right. the ramifications are Fuck. yet. But for now, we'll say it's He's all right. talking to invisible He's people fine. all day. When he asked me to come play video games with him, I realized that for his generation and mine, video games are the opposite of what, like video games for us used to be like this isolating. Oh, yeah. you, you're not talking to anyone. You, you won't talk for eight hours. That's why the parents loved it. You'll just be like, when I was with him, he's like, oh, he's like, it's loading now. Like he pointed out every little he's thing so that happened. He's proud. like, he's so cute and he's great. But I noticed, I'm like, oh, wow, that's weird that like he narrates everything that he's like, oh, man, I'm up in the air right now. You know, like everything. Everything. Was, yeah. Everything. It's very annoying. I didn't find it. I found it endearing. <laughs> well, because you come in every, you come in and out, I know. Rob. Real quick. I'm out of there real quick. <laughs> yeah. I, I did say to Becca last night, I was like, I feel like I barely see him because I sit and I help him with school. But then when he's done with school, he has like some kind of activity I possibly arrange. But then he's like, can I please go play my video games? And I'm like, yeah, because in my head, he's been tortured all day right. doing Zoom school. Yeah. That doesn't go away ever, by the way. And then I'm like, oh, shit, it's 830. You got to go to bed. And he's like, ugh. He's wired. And we haven't hung out. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. here, here's a, something I want to know. So if when girl, when photos of naked girls used to like leak when that thing first started, yeah. it was like, oh, you just go and you look at them and you whatever. Then I heard people talking about like, it's not cool to look at them when photos leak because it's you don't have the girl's permission. This And I was kind of like, yeah, I do see their point. So now I'm like, I'll stay away from, from that stuff. But here's my question. Let's say... A, a, someone leaks their photo by mistake and then they delete it, but people still have it. That I can look at, right? You talking about Chris Evans? What? <laughs> I mean, it's unreal, dude. I mean, I didn't look at it He's out of respect. He's just trying to get people to vote. I'm talking about fucking Cardi B. Oh. Oh, oh, I heard something no, about I she's, pa- well, pancake nipples. Naked. She's naked everywhere anyway. It doesn't matter. But I'm saying there are uh, like the, what's the Jennifer Hutchins? Hut- Oh, Lawrence. L- Jennifer Lawrence, like when she was naked. Oh, yeah, during the fapping. That was my, I was included in that. Oh, really? Yes, I learned what the fapping.com was really quickly. So, Casim, what Kasim, is it? Kasim, right what? I mean, uh, we're so, not. So, <laughs> basically, it's where you go if you want to see a naked celebrity. And it's very what? hard. What? To. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. And this is on the internet? <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. As someone who is part of the. The leak of 2014, the like famous like, like street cred. It's considered an honor. Street cred, and that guy's currently in jail. I think he's there with Polly. And we have new laws around D. it. Polly D. Yeah, yeah. I think they're there together. Polly D. From Jersey Shore is yeah. in jail. What oh, do you yeah. do? I think you're thinking of the situation. No, yeah, the oh, situation. Shit. You're right. You're right. Situation. I was like, Polly, Polly D. D's did no Polly good, clean fun. He's spinning somewhere in Vegas, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Round yeah. and around. But as somebody <laughs> who was part of that, I will say it's it was quite flattering if people really wanted to go look. Awesome. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, huh. wow. it's it's out there. It would be really, it would be like so upsetting to hear that like 
your naked bodies all over the internet and yeah. not one person's clicking on the link. Yeah. I promise you, me and Kasim on the way home, we will do you a service. <laughs> <laughs> and well, they're themed. Be all over. I mean? They're do, holiday themed. I wouldn't do your husband like that out of respect He's for fine. that man. And the yeah, way he either. 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 smoked They me. were holiday themed or they, they, in, they photoshopped them to be holiday no, themed? No, no, I made them holiday themed. And was this a gift for someone? It was a gift for a guy I was dating. Wow. I was dating a baseball player who was traveling a lot and Ugh, we, were <laughs> we were apart. We were apart. And I was in New York, my apartment in New York, I was dancing on Broadway so my body was like the best Bananas. it was ever gonna be. You know, you could bounce a quarter off my ass. Mm -hmm. You got any change? And I, <laughs> it's not, it would fall into like the the, yeah. the cellulite on my ass. It'd be like a vending moment. machine now. Like, <laughs> Just take gone. it. Um, so I took some photos and I, I had what was lying around the apartment, which was like a small Christmas tree, a hat, and some like furry boots. And that's what happened. So cute. It leaked in August of 2014 and my tweet my response was Merry Triple Xmas. That was all I did. Clever. Thank you. So. You know, and way to embrace it and um, not have it taken down. Yeah. But we try we did try. I had to do that for my dad, but secretly sure. I was like, I hope someone Oh uh, dad, I tried so hard. <laughs> so would it have been worse if like Looks they good, got though. I left a message. Yeah. Shit. Would they? Would it have been worse if they got all the photos on your roll? So there were like bad ones too. Like th yeah, those I at least chose for my boyfriend. How so did I they was, get them? iCloud. Yeah. So I got an email from from Apple, and it was oh. like a link that I had to click on. I'm like an oh, eighty year old. Eighty year old. Woman. You deserve everything. I, that I know. Happened. I know. I still do it. Like I still like. Oops. Bryce, bring it up. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. It's the holiday. Save this back one for up, December. Up. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This is great. Yeah. Uh, oh. So let me let me ask you this. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot. I got a, a, a. I got a lot to process, and B. A you lot to do when I get home. They both needed to take a deep breath. The, the testosterone's rising again. Yeah. I think we're. It's back. I wish back. It was a me, we have to have a meter in the back of the testosterone. Gabby, in the room. will you put a testosterone meter in this episode? <laughs> yeah. Bing. It's good. It just well, hit look, the minimum. I, I think that sort of stuff is to be celebrated. Thank you. And the, um, you know, with the rise of OnlyFans and things like this, there is some real legitimate money to be made. I know. Off that as. I know. We talked about but Bella Thorne and what she did. Oh. Like a million dollars in a day. Yeah. Oh, there's a uh, a, a listener of the show. Um, <laughs> she sent me her entire OnlyFans uh, portfolio. Oh. At no charge, which I consider to be wow. a gift. real fan, a, a huge honor mm -hmm. because she charges six dollars and sixty six cents normally for oh, that. Oh, interesting! She's one of your girls, huh? <laughs> so like look, I cosplay. think I want to give her a shout out. Um, I don't even really know her name, but uh, she knows who she is. She's out there, and um, little devil. Yeah. I find I find <laughs> that that kind of work completely valid and legitimate. And the more you out there that want to make some money. Uh, you know, you're make, not hurting anybody. You're not yeah. hurting anybody. If anything, you're making people's day. Yeah, a little brighter. You are helping the blood flow. You know, for guys like me who, who can't need... get in touch with his ex. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how before the show I said, "Me and you need to be like Captain Planet. We need to team up to take down Rob, <laughs> who is the evil doer of the week." And we, Wind, I, you are fire. no. You said you're Earth, and Earth. I will be Heart. It'll never work. Pussy kid. <laughs> And we need a team up. Hot. <laughs> It'll never work, dude. Hot. It never works. It'll never work, dude. God it's just bless. Because you know, it's like, uh, what is that? Good always wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is yes, that? That's it. That's There's it. something I don't know. Something about what is good. good always prevails. Yeah, just, the good guys always end up walking away. Just look at the world right now. Let's a winner. All, Happy. all good stuff. Uh, so, if let's say a girl. So you're saying it's a it, I could what if a girl's like crying about it and she's like I feel devastated then I shouldn't look at it. No, if a woman like doesn't want it out there, like I had a girl that I worked with who had it happen to her too and her statement she came out with like a great statement where it was like she's violated, it was horrible, it was and her pictures were like a little more um like the thing we talked about with they the, weren't the, as uh the camera on the tip of the dildo. A little more risque? Yeah, a little graphic. more. It was a little more violating. So I feel like if if a girl, but like, 
Yeah. What's her name? Re- <laughs> I'm, this is disgusting. <laughs> I am appalled. Look at the cast of Glee the, right the, now, the, cast. Peop, the people What's that up? do this sort of stuff, man. Yeah, I know. The, we should look through the cast of Glee and see who would most take fucking. And this is the, Jane Lynch's? <laughs> yes, yes, <Okay>. it's Jane. <laughs> That's a Y L Y. Oh. Uh, yeah, you gotta read yes. the room. If a girl is like, yeah. you know, okay. so devastated, I'm like just desperate for attention. I'll like get a fucking <laughs> billboard out and be like, "Don't look at my nude photos." I was <laughs> With so the violated. Winky emoji. <laughs> yeah. The but here's my thing. So let's say a girl like one of the Real Housewives tweeted out. Uh, a picture of herself and she didn't realize that like the mirror yeah, showed her right. naked. So what about that? She put it out herself. Who did that? Um, Serena, right? Well, no, she does it for, she's like you. The what, <laughs> What's the one? Thank um, you. Uh, who's the, cr- Vicky Gundelson. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's a mouthful of a name. Jamie's going to look at it right now. Ja- oh, Jamie looks. She's. I guess girls are allowed to look, right? I like, didn't look. What? I just asked who it was. I don't know. Jamie, I saw your eyes dart right to that phone. I'm not looking it up. Oh, you are such a liar. I'm going to. Yeah, of course. So here's the thing. If somebody puts it out themselves, but then they delete it, it's like, I, I, should I feel bad looking at it then? No. If they put it out themselves, they put. Here's what happens: a lot of times they'll put out a nude no. picture by mistake, and then they delete it. And they're like, "Oh, I didn't mean but that." Was first mistake? of all, there's no deleting on the internet, and that stuff's done on purpose. I think so too. I yeah. think people. I think that's on purpose. That, and How, that's, that's why I look. That's weird. <laughs> you know, that's why I look at all of them. But now with OnlyFans, I feel like it's you know, it's kind of like you're. They should be getting paid for it. Maybe you should just, if you're gonna go look at those types of photos, ask for their Venmo. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a okay. way to make it right. <laughs> Hold on. So just, my Venmo uh, is. Yeah, this is what we're saying. You can support her by going to her <laughs> podcast. Hey, look at all that okay. gish. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fucking dollar. You're a peach, babe. A <laughs> I would definitely. Oh you can't even buy your erotic <laughs> mask. <laughs> uh-uh. What the hell? I wouldn't toss your salad for a dollar, sir. Whoa. Yes. But no there is a price. For you. There's a price for everything. Yeah, would you have put a hundred dollar bill in your pocket right there? For to for what? Well, nothing. I'm already looking. Just to look at the photo? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just well, saying in general. I mean if it for was for the joke. <laughs> <laughs> no. What if pictures of um Robert were to leak? Well, Jamie. I know I know who would definitely look at them. I would I would. But I mean it's crazy. It's it's a it's a better question. I would not if look Jamie, at them. You wouldn't. No. Well, I don't need to see it. What if it was on your I don't timeline? Wonder, I don't wonder what he looks like. What if either. I messaged it to you? Because <laughs> here, we've talked about if I would look There's at pictures. There's a screening process that goes from your text message. Yeah, so. there should, as there should. Yes. As there should. We've talked about if I would look at pictures. Because you know, people have called Jamie my sister for like 20-something years now, more than either one of my actual sisters. So right. I, my brain really does feel like she's yeah. my sister. Mm-hmm. But I also have seen her bare Good. breast. How? <laughs> It wasn't a good photo. Red carpet. Yeah, her boob popped out on a red carpet, oh, and paparazzi a... took pictures. And then they're like, "Hey, you know?" And they're like, "Hey, can you sign this?" And it's I'm like, "I'm, I'm like, one. should I sign around the nipple?" Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and you know what I used to do? Because I didn't know. Like, I would just sign over the nipple. Smart. Yeah, she knew. I can't believe you even entertained the signature. Yeah, See, my dad talk- was my date that year. We're talking Austin about breasts. I was in a black leather dress, and I put those chicken cutlets in. Oh. And it pushed my titty it out. up too high, and it was sweaty. It was the Emmys, you know, September. Mm. Well, according to you guys, you did it on purpose, because right? That's do they, I did not do, do that. Wasted no. by that your was, own petard. That's too risky. Not on an Emmy red carpet. I was not needing that much attention at that time. Well, here's 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 what I've come to the conclusion of. If I saw a picture of Jamie's like butt or breast, I wouldn't go to look at it. But if I saw it, it wouldn't be a big deal. If somebody was like, look at this picture of Jamie's vagina, yeah, it would make me very uncomfortable. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm going to look too. at yours later, but that's It would fine. make me uncomfortable. <laughs> Mine is not like the camera towards heading towards the clitoris, too. You know, it's yeah. not like, right. you know, right. it's a, the doors are closed. Yeah. You well, know? Jamie says that when you go to nude spas with women, you see their entire the vagina. Korean spas. The whole thing. I was very violated. I was, too. Yeah, you get it. They s- there's women that like sit on buckets like with their they sit on buckets yes like with their legs open and like scrub each other's backs with loofahs it's so loofah is a, is a is a it's a communal loofah term. it's like a Bucket it's a basically scrubbing. a hard rock it, it, it's a coral gross. it's upsetting yeah you guys you go through some lengths 
to get yeah. that body looking good, huh? Yeah. Yep. Many lengths. You so, said you're 35? 34. Not yeah. yet. Same shit. Not Is it, yet. It's, it's rude. Now they say it's rude if you like, because back in the day it wasn't at all. But now it's rude if like you ask a woman to lose weight for a role, right? Like if you're like, you had a, you have to lose 10 pounds. Yeah, That's I think like it's a big illegal deal. now. Right. So here's my question. But it's expected. Duh. What, right. Just do it. It's like it. unspoken. Right. Yeah, don't show up if you know, yeah. you're not here to play. What what about gaining? If is that rude? Like if a guy's like, listen, to get this role, I'm gonna need you to gain ten pounds. That's only for I would celebrate Oscar. for fucking months mm -hmm. if somebody told me that, that I needed to that's gain. That's when you hit a tier of acting where it's like you've you've made your bones here, now you wanna get the awards. Charlie's S territory. You get you wanna be monster, <sighs> you wanna be Charlie you, you guaranteed wanna... awards, prosthetics and weight gain. Yeah. So true. Get fat, don't put on makeup, and you're halfway there. Oscar Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you an uh, actress at heart, or yeah. is there a dan is there a dancer, I, singer in there? She's that's... an amazing dancer too. Yeah. Oh. So she's you a still performer. you your goal would be to just get that that one part that you win that Oscar. For. I mean, is that still the dream? It was never really the dream. I love money, so I just I think want been, to you know work. What? And I love yeah. that about you. Yeah, I don't. I think it's like I'd like to go under the radar and just m continue to make money. Yeah. But I acting. Sure. Yeah. She'll never win an Oscar because she refuses to work on diversified projects. Yes, white only I don't productions. Work that hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Whites only? Jamie. You know, Cassim. I have one of those. Cassim's Ka been Cassim's been purple one. Cassim's been ghost hunting, Jamie. What are you talking about? Yeah, you could come back. Kasim's Kasim's been ghost hunting I'm ladies. A, Does that get you guys like we're talking about our testosterone? Does that get you girls just ready to go when you hear a look, guy's I been, know I know a lot about the spirit world and the, and the realms of uh, ghostly bodies and apparition. You know. Well, you need to do something in my house because her dog saw a ghost last night in my house. Your dog I, saw a ghost. Jack talks to a ghost <laughs> in my house. Jack talks to a mm -hmm. ghost. Okay. Well, look, I can do some work there, but we're also. You know, there's also a chance that your kids are fucking crazy. <laughs> would you Would you like to tell them where you've been ghost hunting? Yeah. Well, look, it's it's a vid it's a video game. It's oh. a game. Mm -hmm. um, what? And mm -hmm. I know Rob's purposely trying to get me to dry you guys up, but uh, <laughs> I'm a gamer. I'm I have no shame in that. Okay. <laughs> I will make eye contact with pretty. There females. goes our wops. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you let your husband play video games? He's not a video game person. He's a man. <laughs> See, I don't agree with that. No, no, He's no, busy. Yeah, Cutter, you Cutter, <laughs> Cutter. You are cutting to the core when of me. When Cutter so played sorry. baseball, he played he has video to earn, games, but now that he has like a real job, he doesn't. Really. But his video games is watching live sports. Oh my God, fantasy. Right? Yes. My version of live sports is playing video games. It's Got all it. terrible. Your husband loves watching live oh, sports. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we all have our things. Yeah, I don't know what you're, you're you're a live sport guy, but you do also like video games. But you know that you have a no, no, no. I was like, a, as soon as the controls got too complicated, I fell out. <laughs> but like, yeah. oh, yeah. regular Nintendo or like Super like Nintendo, up down A B. You're oh, all about it. I yeah. loved all of it. Like I know all the, the little bosses, gray every, console. Yeah, you like were that. in having like the late '90s, early 2000s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's even, where I'm at too. I like this just a straight up Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, even Xbox. When Xbox came out, Halo, I was nasty. Gears of War, oh, oh my god. Great. Games and have that's come so far. They've come so far and they do so much. What's our equivalent to that? Periods. <laughs> you got what, Yeast infections, I believe. Well, reality. Love to a hobby? Yeah. Reality <laughs> shows could be your video <laughs> game. Yeah, housewives. Housewives? Housewives. You Organizing know. closets. Organizing. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. That's that's what gets you going? I Uninterrupted mean, organizing. Depends. Do Uninterrupted I... organizing. Yeah. On an Adderall. Multiple organizings. <laughs> <laughs> a drug-fueled <laughs> closet bender. That sounds yeah. like a fucking wow. dream to me. Uh, and the reason I know ball. the reason I know Kasim has been ghost hunting on a video game is because he picked me up the other day and he's like, dude, I was so scared last night in my house. <laughs> He's like, fuck it, dude, man. He's like, I was playing this video game with my brother and we're ghost hunting and then like everybody went to bed and I was still, he's, this guy was terrified. You were for real scared? Look, I, you guys wouldn't <laughs> understand, so I don't know if I, yeah, I don't, <laughs> that don't know if yeah. <laughs> There's a game that, you know, you play with your pals and I like to turn the lights off and you ghost hunt and, it's, and it can get scary, you know? 
And if you guys are li- trying to date me, that's askpajamapants at gmail.com if you want to scare little pussy boy who plays games. Here's, Unemployed. Here's, you know what? We can reframe that. You have an active imagination and you're young at heart and you like yeah. to set the mood. If you need somebody who's young at heart with low T who's a little bitch boy, <laughs> ask pajama pants. So here's, here's the last question before we wrap up because Jamie has to go pick up her children. Sorry. What? I always have to put that on you. Your fucking kids are always getting in the way of this. <laughs> We're trying to pod. Uh, okay, so we asked Jamie, this came up. Would you rather, mm-hmm. if you had to pick, would you rather, you know what I'm going to say yes. already? Wow, yes. how Feel do you, Jamie's thighs. been fucking reading me lately. Like Feel my book. thighs, I'm flexing. What would you rather, what are you, and now I want to know what you think Jamie said when we asked her this. Mm-hmm. Would you, if, if your husband's like, hey, it's our anniversary, I, I, I just want one thing. Just like You could choose either of these things. I want you to pee in my mouth. Or poop on my chest. It's terrible. What do you think Jamie Lynn Sigler said? Give us five stars on iTunes. I mean, We're the number because one Because you seem so shocked and appalled, I'm going to say she said shit on his chest. What would you say? What would your I answer would be? I would absolutely urinate She's in a someone's pee-pee girl. Mouth. So you're saying Jamie's nuts. <laughs> I think Jamie. that is so... Well, wait. Is he watching it come out? No, I said neither. Pretty much, right? No, you said you'd have to poop on his chest. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I mean, your poor husband would get his teeth knocked out. You push so hard when you pee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? Or a good cleaning. Yeah, yeah. it's like a water pick. Yeah. Yeah, dur- during COVID, there was a time where no one could get to a dentist. And <laughs> urine is sterile. That right? was their argument. At first. Yeah. When it comes out. Okay. Well, he's not going to keep it in there. Like you mean, a, uh, what, so once it settles, it's I not? think once it settles, it's like, uh, you know when you have that glass of water that's a day old? Blech. What would you rather? W- one time I went away and left a glass of milk in my room. The, the most disgusting thing ever. Uh, what would you rather if, if, if your husband asks you that for an anniversary or if he's like, babe, I have a surprise for you. And he pulls out like an acoustic guitar. He's got wrote a song for you. And it's like the worst you've ever heard. A thousand percent. The urine request would be my choice. Lo- you, you've answered every you. You pass pajama yeah, pants. Thank yeah, you. she's cool. Way cooler Jamie? than me. She's way cooler than me. Would no. you cut her, cut her with an aco- Imagine him like tuning the guitar, <laughs> getting ready to sing to you <laughs> in his like little oh, shorts. His little shorts? He had little shorts on last week. Those little red shorts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My man. <laughs> yeah, you got, they got, they high five. My man. Yeah. Castle was drooling. <laughs> It wasn't for the eight pound rib either. Oh, yeah. oh God. Whoa. Jamie, what do you pick? W- would you rather have to do the poo- Would you rather shit on no Cutter's chest no. or hear him sing a song that he wrote for you? I would love to hear a song he wrote for me. Okay, now, the song, he sings a song, it's horrible. What's your next move? What do you do? Give him a blowjob. <laughs> and that's all the time for Becca. You want to promote anything? Uh, no. Just Lady Gang podcast, yes. and um, if you're single, find a man with money. Yes, and you know where to find her on Instagram because At Becca. <laughs> she don't fuck around. <laughs> Thank you and so much. Yes. Thank you. For Thank being you so here. much for coming on. Yeah, so Thank much. You guys. And uh, yeah, please make sure to uh, check out Lady Gang. And then if you're also um, checking out that podcast, give our podcast a five stars on iTunes <laughs> because apparently that helps. The when stars you get, help. The so stars and a rating and the help. Reviews. We have a, uh, a pajama pants subreddit r slash pajama pants podcast. Hit subscribe on YouTube. Find us on Instagram, and we'll get more of your emails read on the next one when we're not uh, so busy talking about all all the urethra and the yes. urine and the poop. And um, yeah, that's it. See you next week. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>